All right, guys, what's happening? The Iceman here, the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Um, a pretty busy day. Uh, it's going to be even more busier on Saturday. My boss approached me today and asked me. I originally was going to go in at 4.30 in the afternoon and work till 4 in the morning. He said I got a curve thrown at me, and he said I needed somebody that I know I could count on. He asked me if I'd come in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and stay till 4 a.m. Sunday morning. He wanted to explain why. I said, no need to explain. I got your back. So I'm going to have a real long day Saturday. So anyway, the money I'm going to make just for that day alone is probably equivalent to a lot of people's paychecks, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, um, I just got done watching a couple videos after I got home. Uh, Gemini 888 put up a video about heroes, the ones that pretty much have gone in the the past of uh, professional wrestling. A very emotional video by Gemini 888. Very good video. Um, I really didn't have much to add to it because he pretty much said it all. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, go check it out. And I also watched a video from Jekko Knight YWC. Uh, he's basically separating the YWC like in four different sections. Uh, discussion trolling, rants, and drama. And he's absolutely right. I think we all get caught up in it. Um, every now and then, uh, we sort of lose focus on what we're here to do here on YouTube. But anyway, today's Thursday, and the topic tonight is Impact Wrestling on Spike TV at 9 o'clock. Um, we'll see what that's going to bring tonight. Uh, we're going to see Sting go up against Bully Ray. Um, this ought to be a pretty interesting matchup. Um, my guess is it'll probably be a short match. Um, I, I don't see Bully Ray coming out on top of the, I mean, I don't see Sting coming out on top of this match because uh, I do see Bully Ray holding the belt at least till Bound for Glory. And again, who knows what's going to happen there. But uh, speaking of Bully Ray, we also will probably find out who will face him. Um, for a championship match at No Surrender, a member from Aces and Eights is going to have to face Bully Ray. That was announced by Hulk Hogan last week. This should be pretty interesting. I mean, there's, I don't know what anybody thinks uh, who it's going to be. My guess is it's probably going to be Mr. Anderson, the vice president of Aces and Eights. I just think that they've been colliding in the past few weeks since Bully Ray has teamed up with Tito Ortiz. So... Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what de develops there. So that should be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, tonight, we're also going to see the Last Chance Gauntlet match featuring all 12 competitors in the Bound for Glory series, and it's going to be worth 20 points, whoever wins this match tonight. I think that's going to be a pretty damn good match. I mean, right now, I think what TNA has done um, with what they have lost in the recent weeks in the recent months. I think uh, for what they have for their roster, they've done pretty well. Um, I just would like for them to, you know, have their roster on their show every week. I mean, a lot of times we won't see somebody for a couple weeks. Um, but, you know, again, you know, they're doing what they can do. Uh, there's a lot of speculation that TNA is going to fold. Uh, I know Ric Flair uh, had some comments stating that TNA won't be around in another year or two. Um, I really haven't seen anything from Dixie Carter to really, um, to really give us anything to indicate that she is going to do everything she can. So I, I really don't know as far as that goes. We're going to see Chris Saban tonight, the first time since he lost the... Uh, TNA World Heavyweight Belt. We'll see what he's got to say about that. And we're also going to see Mickey James perform, I think, tonight. Um, whether it be in the ring or whether it be a music video or whatnot, I don't know. But, um, you know, TNA looks to be pretty good. I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, like I said, um, I, for one, am a fan of professional wrestling. I've said this many times in the past. I like the fact that there are other promotions out there to watch because we do have a lot of exposure in the WWE and sometimes you get tired of seeing the same old stuff three or four times a week and that's why I look forward to Thursday nights and watching TNA. Um, 
regardless of how good the show does, I will tune in um, if I am available to watch it. And um, because I am a professional wrestling fan. And back in the old days, I used to watch the WCCW, uh, the AWA, the NWA, you know, the WWWF. I would watch whatever I could watch. I'm not really in tune with Ring of Honor right now, and I'm trying to get into that. Um, it's just for the simple fact, uh, sometimes I don't have a lot of time. And when I do have a lot of time, it's being used elsewhere for other things, so... Um, I'm going to try to really get myself pushed into the fact and get disciplined enough to watch Ring of Honor so I can start doing some reviews up, uh, about them. But uh, again, TNA looks pretty good tonight for what I've seen for a preview. Um, and I know there's a lot of fans out there that are strictly WWE fans, but if you are a fan of professional wrestling, you should be a fan which would give any promotion a chance. And whether the show is good or bad, at least watch it because you are a fan of professional wrestling. I know there's a lot of trollers out there that constantly badmouth TNA, and I understand. I, you know, I'm not saying anything against them because that, they have a right to their opinion. But, you know, give it an honest opinion. Don't just say it sucks just for the simple fact that you are a WWE fan. Really watch it and really give your truthful opinion and thoughts on what you really did uh, think about the show. And if you had points in it you didn't like, tell us what they were. I mean, don't just keep us guessing, saying, oh, you said it sucked. Well, why did it suck? We want to know why you thought it sucked. I mean, so anyway, um, that's my video for today. And again, it's about TNA tonight on Spike TV at 9 o'clock. Be there if you can. Give it a chance. Watch it. It looks like it's going to be a halfway decent show. And, you know, again, if you didn't watch it and you just read the results, don't badmouth it because you really don't have a right to that opinion because you didn't really watch it to actually uh, really have a right to give that opinion. So those are my thoughts. This is the Iceman on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody. And have yourself a great Thursday.